Mr. Rock says, ladies, would you marry an alpha male or beta male and why? I mean, you guys know what that means, alpha and beta? Yes. All right. Would you marry alpha, if not beta, if, and why? Um, Alpha, if he was respectful. Because, I don't know, I feel like I need to be led in a sense, and I do believe in like a more traditional marriage setup. That's fair. What about you? Uh, so I like alpha men, but I would like him for me to be like empathetic and like treat me, you know, like not act this way next to me, but like to other people. So is that how your boyfriend is right now? Your current boyfriend? Is yeah, he like that? I love it, yeah. Okay. For you? I would like an alpha man, a man that leads. All right. Alpha. Can you handle it? Yeah. I don't think so. <laughs> oh my god, alpha you for sure. Something to say. Huh? Alpha for sure. Why? Because if I'm in charge, it'll get crazy. So I need someone to put me in my place. Okay. What about you? I would go for an alpha male because uh, my personality, I, I need someone that is going to encourage me to, like, talk, to do things. And, like, I can do them myself, but I feel like it's better. I'm more very you wanna, traditional. You want a leader? Yeah. Okay. What about you? Alpha for show, for but show, um, I would just like to say that some men think they can lead and they can't. Hmm. All right, tough words. What about you? I hope. <clears throat> excuse me. I would love a beta guy because I like to be in charge. I'm the leader, and I'm gonna lead us to success. <laughs> really? Amen. A hundred percent. Because how's I that working out for you right now? I'm in Miami. I mean, I'm doing good. You can't even spell okay. entrepreneur, man. I say you don't have you to can't spell, even spell to make money. But you can't spell, man. <sighs> okay, what about you? I like to be submissive. So, of course, I like uh, alpha male. That part. Is your current man alpha male or beta male, you would say? He's alpha. Who's your man? Who is? Yeah. No, he will kill me if I say it. <laughs> Makes, <sense. laughs> Makes sense. Okay. Uh, okay, so all the girls here at the table said that they would prefer a guy who was more, I hate the term alpha, but I guess more dominant, so to speak. Um, are you okay with him having multiple women and telling you to just know your place and be quiet? No. What about you? Shut up, bitch! No? What about you? No. No. No way. No. Um, no. <laughs> if I get to do what I want. Well, you want, you want, a, you want, a, you want a guy that's going to yeah, walk if I get, him, so that's fine. Yeah. What about you? <laughs> what was the question? Have other women <laughs> and tell you to be quiet? Have other women? Yeah. Like other women? Yeah. With me? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> what do you mean? I don't get it. See, oh. this is a perfect example. You guys don't even know what you want. You think an alpha guy is going to sit there and tell you, oh, yeah, I'm going to be monogamous because you said so. He is monogamous. He's anyway, Muslim. Uh, I'm, I'm not asking you in <laughs> like, particular. He hates women. But, but, but realistically speaking, do you guys really think that you're with an alpha guy who's going to sit there and be like, oh, yeah, like, you, you want me to be monogamous? I will be. Do you think he's really going to listen to you? If he wants to stay in a relationship with me, he will. Mm. <laughs> I think the whole purpose of him being alpha is he doesn't give a fuck if you stay or not yeah. <laughs> no i think him being alpha is like he can lead me and i will be submissive but that's only on the premise of respect but he's yeah. following your demands then. yeah yeah that's so not is, a demand is he really alpha that's a, a hallmark of a good relationship is no. see this is loyal. interesting <laughs> see girls say they want alpha guy until they actually get one and the reality is he's not going to listen to you he's going to do what he wants exactly. right yeah he's going to be a leader and he's going to be a provider and all that other stuff a lot of times but he's going to have other women because it's so rare to find one Alphas don't listen to women, period. Like, I, this is interesting yeah. to me that you guys are, like, saying, I want a dominant alpha guy. He's not going to listen to you. He's going to tell you, shut up. I'm going to do what I want to do. I make money. I'm successful. Exactly. They don't listen to shut women. Shut up, bitch. And it's you funny because most of you are single anyway. So yeah, I mean, yeah, it's like, bro. That makes sense. Yeah, okay, yeah. <laughs> like, what the fuck, man? Like, like, yo, married. I want a dominant alpha guy. Yo, okay? married, man. Uh, on, he's going to have other chicks and tell you to shut the fuck up. Are you going to do that? Uh, no. Uh, you see how that doesn't make sense? Maybe like, when I'm 30. At all. <laughs> You think, like, like, let me tell you guys what, what it is, right? Typically, these guys are highly successful, worry, very driven, make money, success, you know, have women after them, etc. Why are they going to bust their asses to be rise up to the totem pole to listen to a female? Not all guys are the same. My guy has an Instagram with 91 followers, <laughs> and all of them are men. He's not a whole at all. Like, all he do is work and sleep, work, sleep, 
Well, that's Hopefully. why he's probably not taking you seriously. Anyway, <laughs> go on, back to what I was saying, though. Yeah. But realistically speaking, do you think that a guy that rises up to the level to that top level to listen to a female? But like, do you think that um, there is no alpha male and not successful men who have you know normal marriage and they are faithful? Like, do you think all of them would have multiple well, women? There's always the exception to the rule, of course. But in general. They have other women. Might be an escort, might be a mistress, might be a, a second wife, who knows, but they typically have other women. I don't women. know. Like, I know a lot of guys also from karate, and they are very much like, they they just like faithful to From them. karate? Yeah. Yeah, they're right. waxing, waxing off some bitch, man. Like, what? come on, man. Yeah, like, yo, they, <laughs> wax off, wax off. Like, like, you know what I mean? Karate kid. Karate See, like, they, they won't tell you, though, but behind closed doors, I'm telling you right now, they have on, other man. options. I'm telling you. And they take it. Cause you, I agree. Because you won't find out. Yeah, like you know what I mean. Like, but again, it's ten years old. Yeah, um, I'll familiar stuff. I just find it interesting because like girls say they want a certain guy, and then I tell you, okay, this was gonna come with it, and they're like, oh, I don't know if I can handle that. Like, it's Has to be or, my or, way. Or, or it's my way or something or like highway. that, and it's like that's yeah. just not how it goes. Like, you know, you don't become successful, right? Get status and all that to listen to a woman that hasn't accomplished any of that. No offense, because you typically want a guy that's better than you, right? I'm assuming. So why would a guy that kill himself to get to a certain point listen to a woman that on it isn't on his level makes sense so are you guys change your mind now you're gonna get a more regular guy hell no. she said hell no hell no hell no. Huh? Nope. Said, nope. Nope. no i i am choosing to believe there's exceptions to that rule because manifest girl. i've got seen it. i'm i'm manifesting and like my parents have a successful marriage my dad has never cheated on my mom how do you know how do you know how because do you know? I just know he's a man of integrity. Bro, I hate it. And a man shit. of faith. No, he would not. I don't, I don't think he's been integrity yet. Cheat every day. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> well, I'm not going to think that of my angelic father. So. Well. <laughs> and I choose to believe I'll who, find who, a man. Who like runs that. the relationship? Like your mom or your dad? My dad does. Your dad does? Okay. Mm -hmm. yeah, when did you. they get married? When. I don't know, like almost 40 years ago. It's been a long time. Oh, that's a different time. Bro, he's cheated, bro. That's a different time. That was a long time <laughs> no. ago. I'm sure he's a great guy. Yeah. yeah. That's but great. Niggas got knees, too. Yeah. Is he, so. Does he make a lot of money? He's successful? I mean, he's been the sole provider of our household for ever. No, he cheated, bro. That's good. Yeah, so. you might have had other women. Yeah. I mean, no. there's a good chance. I mean, hey, that doesn't make him a bad guy. It's just yeah. like what Back dudes shot, do. Yeah. Um, did you change your mind? Are you going to get a more regular guy then? No. She's the boyfriend yeah. right now. Right. Okay. What about you? No. Even though he, an alpha is not going to listen to you? No, I'm not going to change You mind. get what you are. That's the thing. Shut that's, up, bitch! That's the worst advice ever. <laughs> no. You get what you are. A feminine submissive woman doesn't you get... You attract an, what you are. A feminine submissive man. What? <laughs> you don't attract what you are. That's You attract the opposite. Yeah, definitely. Hyper-masculine men typically attract super feminine women and the other way around. Super feminine women typically want hyper-masculine men. So it's not you attract what you are. That doesn't make sense. Opposites attract. Don't look at me. <laughs> I can't save you. <laughs> what the hell? Too. Mel, um, how long have you been with your man? Mm, like two months. All right, shut up, bitch. All right. <laughs> Next, all right? Actually, hey, wait, 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 wait. Yo, Cena, come, Cena come, was come, the come, one. Yo, yo, come to me when you Cena are with your man for a year and you're engaged, all right? Together. Like, come to me, oh, right? When you're with your man for a year and you have a ring on your finger, right? Then you can say, fuck you, Chris, all right? That nigga yeah. wild. Oh, shit. Oh, this yeah. Chris. Okay, well. Bro, Chris, I I'm talk. giving you advice because I've been with my man for two months. When you say... Nigga said, shut up, bitch. What's your experience? Oh, shit. Okay, are you going to lower your standards then? No, but what would it take for either one of you to like? Would you ever settle down with one woman? No, I, Fuck like no. never. So, you, are you gonna have a family? Yeah, but kids? like, why not? Look, man. See, <laughs> Stacey's honest. No, and I'm speaking for all higher earner men here. We don't bust our asses to go to the gym. Understand, you know what it takes to be successful, make money, all this shit to fuck one bitch, bro. Like, we just don't. Like, the thing is, for women, right, it's easy for you guys to be monogamous because life is easy for you guys. Man just shows up. Men come up to me. I pick the best one. Fantastic. I'm just pretty. They come to me. Men, we have to become that guy to even approach you to get a chance to get you. So once I get a girl, it's like, wait, I'm busting my ass to get here. Why am I only going to have one? This is fucking stupid. I'm going to do what I want to do. Now, some guys are open about it vocal you know i want to have multiple women some guys are quiet about it they only have you know they have their main girl and then they get escorts or whatever but typically men want variety 
And when a guy becomes successful and busts his ass to become attractive, very rarely do they be monogamous. I have a question for you. What if you met the guy of your dreams and you didn't know what he was doing? You just had like an idea. It wasn't in your face at all. Like that he was cheating? Yeah, he could give you whatever you want, but it wasn't like in your face. Would you would you be cool with that? If I didn't know about it, how would I, you know? <laughs> there you care. go. There you go. There's your answer. There you go. Yeah, they just don't want to see it or know. They don't Which is cool. Know. I mean, I, that's I guess, fine. But yeah. I mean, if they don't, but it's like you're delusional if you meet a guy that's like six foot plus, making <laughs> six figures, attractive, and you think he's just gonna be monogamous to you. Like that's that's just delusional because pretty women are common, successful men are not. So it's just. The math, supply and demand, you know, whatever is in less supply is more valuable and attractive men are just more valuable than attractive women because there's not enough attractive men to go around. Simple economics, man. Like how many of y'all are single here? Most of you, right? Is it because you're picky? Yes. Oh, <laughs> why are you picky? Because most men suck, right? Yes. Yeah. Most men don't qualify, right? Mm -hmm. oh, oh, that means that they're rare and hard to find because all of you guys are single here at the table. Not all, but most of you. So what does that that tells you right there that the market is inverted, not in your favor? The same way how you want those men, ten other women do too as well. Yeah. So imagine that. Yeah. So it's like you don't think he's gonna bite on one of them that want him back? I mean, I don't know. Well, what? Go ahead. Oh shit. If you are a woman <laughs> and you don't have hobbies, you don't have a life, <laughs> you don't have something going on, then you will be you will attract the same thing. But if you have a life. If you have like your career and the, and the things you like to do, then you will attract a guy like that. Do you think you men know? care about career? I honestly like. Do you, hold on. Do you think men care about career? No, too much. But they like when a girl has like a talent or a hobbies or things like that. You know, they don't want a stupid girl just to sit there and do nothing. Of course, of course. But do you think that's as important as you think it is? No, it is. It is. Yeah, they don't want a stupid girl. Like, you don't want to... There's plenty of ugly girls and fat girls that have good hobbies and talents, could play the violin and everything. Why don't they have guys? Okay. Why? Oh. They don't because they probably are sick or something. <laughs> <laughs> Their pussy smell. <laughs> Yo, you're funny. Okay. You're funny. All right. Okay. Fantastic. Move Anybody else have anything on this topic? Or I mean, <laughs> I think... Yeah, go ahead. <laughs> you're looking. Yeah, go ahead. Um, I mean, I think it's just like... Nowadays, like even ugly guys get any girl, like they can get girls. Hey, you think so? Shot the fresh. Yeah, yeah absolutely. <laughs> Yo, Chris, I'm not, I'm not talking to you. <laughs> you think, uh, you think ugly men can get any girl they want? Not any any girl they want, but women are desperate. I feel like women are just desperate nowadays. <laughs> really? I think the guy just has to have some sort of asset. Like I know a lot of ugly guys that are funny as shit, and that's why they get girls. Like they have to have something. Girls yeah. don't have to have sh anything. And and the thing is, like, is it easy to be funny? Yeah. It can, if can... you got it, you got it. I think it's not really something that if you try to be funny, you're not going to be funny. But that mean that every ugly, ugly guy has a chance with you. I think ugly <laughs> guys <laughs> always have a chance if they're nice. <laughs> Bitches love nice guys. Really? <laughs> Absolutely. Where's your nice guy at? I have a couple. A couple. Wow. <laughs> so you don't give any of them an exclusive relationship then? I know, like, there's so much more than life than just being in a relationship, hugged up, cuddled up, because I could be around the world, making money. Making money? Being myself. Being yourself? I don't have to be at home, <clears throat> dig down. I mean. Um, well, but I like a nice guy. Like, nice guys? Thank you guys for being nice. Well, that, <laughs> if, you have, if you like nice guys, then why don't you have one as a boyfriend? I have a lot of guys that are nice to me. But do I have to label them? Because they're nice. Do you have sex with all of them? <laughs> all the guys are nice to you because they just want to, you know. <laughs> <laughs> well, <laughs> if you're nice and you're spending money and you're, do you fuck all of them? Heels, hold on, hold on. Do you fuck all of them? No, you don't. If I fucked every nice guy, I would fuck the so whole how world. Does, so how does that benefit the nice guys then? You be tapped. Do up. you really like nice guys or do you like the attention and free gifts they give you? I love nice guys. I love someone who's nice to me and treats but me how they, I treat them. But do they benefit from being nice to you? Yeah, because they get to hang out with me. <laughs> wow. So your presence alone is worth it. Yeah. We're going to have a good time. Just smoking, drinking, hanging out. <laughs> wait, wait. Do you think men actually enjoy women's company when it's not sexual? Maybe y'all might not, but there are some men who do. <laughs> 
Really? Absolutely. These guys that are nice guys, do you think if you hit them up and said, hey, I want to have sex right now, they wouldn't try to have sex with you? Everybody would love to have sex with me. Oh, so they have <laughs> ulterior motives then. Yeah. So they don't really want to just be your friend or be a nice guy, as you claim. If they, they People like to be my friends because I'm about business. So <laughs> really? anybody who's making money, you love to be around them. Been there. Okay. Nice what, if, what if what if I told you they just want to get laid and that's their way of trying to get laid is being nice with you and they don't really well, know an they... alternative way to do it, alternative way to do it, because clearly they're not getting what they want. Well, I'm gonna be nice to you too, baby. I'm gonna I, be nice to you too. I think that's actually really really <laughs> mean when you just waste their time and you don't give them what they want, which is what I they know, want. Sucks. Because we can't guarantee someone like 20 years of our life when we're only been alive for 21. Wait, what? what? Like I'm just saying, bar, like guess, no, like Wait, you, why would you guarantee every nice person years of your life when you have to spend those years becoming yourself? Yeah, it's nice to have a nice person around here and there. What is becoming yourself? Becoming rich, becoming successful, wealthy, beautiful, a baddie. Do you think, steps do you think men value wealth and success in women? They love my hustling. Like they, they every time I meet a guy, they're like, "I love that you're a hustling bitch," and I'm like, "Oh my god, thank you." They're lying to you. Yeah, they're lying. They're not. Trust me, they're but, lying to you. Yeah, I could tell lies too. So what's up? <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah, men. You're so cute. Oh my god. <laughs> yeah, just <laughs> like you. Money. Just like yeah, just like you do that to them. Oh yeah. my god, like you're so cute, and he's really ugly. They're telling you, "Oh, I love your career," but they really don't. But they don't have to because I'm happy. They don't have to be happy because I'm happy. So notice, when she gets what she wants, she don't care. Yeah, exactly. Understandable. Exactly. I'm I mean, hey, that is yeah, not but, integrity. But yeah, but yeah, that's not integrity yeah, at all. Yeah, yeah. That's not integrity at all. Yeah. 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 Change your name to uh, scam. 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 Integrity artists, came from dancing. So if oh, anyone wants a yeah. VIP, dancing? just know I'm going to do you Stripper. right back there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Wait. <laughs> yeah, yeah. She, Hold on. So, so you really a stripper? Absolutely. And that's why I have integrity because there's no stripper out here named integrity. integrity. Your name you would have said that you were. You would have said yeah. that you were a dancer, bro. What do you I know. Yeah, no, you know I'm an entrepreneur. I own a detail shop. No, shop. Yeah. You left like, out a big detail. Yeah, like, yeah. Yeah. what the hell? Because an entrepreneur Bruh. means that you do multiple and different things to get money, and that's what I do. If I strip once a once every blue moon. Then I go and get that bag, and I leave and go do my next job the next day. No, you're a whole entrepreneur. <laughs> Not a whole entrepreneur. That's different. That's different. That's I'd really rather different. be a whole entrepreneur with money than a broke bitch. Okay. All right. Okay. Hey, that's, man. That's fair. But hey. you left that. That's a big detail to leave out. Yeah, I'd well, rather get to know be me. a How you got a detail shop and leave out the details? <laughs> 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 get to know me. <laughs> I'm going to clean your oh, heart man. and panties, okay? Yo, man. <laughs> that's, that's crazy, bro. <laughs> Yo, pray for integrity, bro. Yo. Not oh, even services. Oh, uh, you were trying to say something, right? Yeah. Yeah, go ahead. <laughs> what were you saying? Anyways, something um, to do with... Yeah, go ahead. Well, pretty much like, like guys, uh, they can be in love with someone but still sleep around with him, like other people. Oh. So, so why would you not tolerate the sleeping around then? Yeah. I mean... I think when you're in a marriage, like there comes to a point that it, there has to be a discussion about it. So mm. I just think straight, like if you're like honest and it comes up, I would be more like that's something that I would like it more than behind my back. I second that. I think a lot of women have an issue with it because it comes up later in the relationship. Like, or maybe it happens behind her back and she, he sucks at hiding it. And I would be mad. Like, But if the guy comes up to me and he has a lot of money and he's willing to take care of me, I don't see where how that's a problem as long as he's honest about so, it. Value exchange. But I mean, he might not take care of you in the beginning, though. So you'll have to deal with it for like maybe six months, a year. Who knows? I don't have feelings you get a at title. that point. So huh? that's fine. I'm not in love with him at that point. So that's that's considered the talking stage to me. So it's kind of like, okay. Okay. You know, we, as long as it's a conversation that's being had and it's not just in the dark and I'm not in the dark about it, it's making money. So okay. Okay. All right. Interesting. <sighs> All right. So you would accept it if he told you from the beginning. Yeah, I think honesty is just like a huge thing. Interesting. Okay. He would have to be very wealthy, though, for me, like personally, 
uh, for me to, to accept make that, I don't know. I'm for not. You. How much do you got to make? I don't. I mean, like a millionaire. I don't. I don't know. Well, Never she's really in dated a rich guy. I think she doesn't really know. Yeah, you and every other girl. Wants a millionaire. <laughs> I mean, that's the thing. Wants to be a millionaire. Yeah, bro. Like every Come girl right wants up. a millionaire. I'm boyfriend. not exactly looking for a millionaire, so I don't see myself in that kind of situation. But if it were to happen, that's where I would stand. All right. oh, there you go. Nice sound effect, Chris. 